Okay, well, uh, I'm Benjamin Coltai, and I'm uh, going to tell you a little bit about our garden. Um, I think we're listed as Yachtma Garden in the, in the Wolf Book, although that's not really the name of our place. I don't know if you get to edit this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can start over if you want. That's all right. Uh, so, um, we have a, a little uh, family homestead and gardens here that are based on permaculture principles, and uh, we like to play. And we uh, have a lot of different kinds of projects that we do around our property. I'm a builder and a gardener, and I do a lot of a lot of carpentry and a lot of building new garden beds and and trying to make use of the the garden beds that we have and grow food and medicine for our family. My wife Lydia is an herbalist, and she loves to to grow herbs and also loves to grow weeds and collect them. And uh, her name is Lydia. Her name is Lydia. And uh, I don't know, we, we uh, both Lydia and me were woofers uh, 10 years ago. Um, and we traveled around the country uh, visiting. We have, a, we have a boy named Shia. That's and, true. Yeah, and him go somewhere with James. That's true. Yeah, and we have a girl named Nisa, and, and she goes with Shia. Yeah. So we. Um, Lydia and me were woofers 10 years ago and we traveled across the country uh, as woofers specifically looking for permaculture farms and uh, we worked on a, a variety of different sites and it was a really awesome experience and uh, now that we have our own place here we're uh, really happy to have woofers here. Uh, we've had woofers now for one season. We've had about six or seven different people have come through here. And, uh, Like well, our dog Andy sometimes takes a little while to get comfortable with woofers. Um, sometimes longer than their time that they stay. Um, but yeah, uh, forgot my train of thought, but thanks for tuning in to our permaculture farm and garden. And we love you and hope you come and visit.